Thank you, Professor Bhagat. Uh, and uh, it's really a great pleasure to be here. Uh, this is the campus in which we as uh, graduate students started AID. Uh, and, uh, and it has grown, uh, like, like you saw in the video, to a very, very big group. So I want to give you a brief idea of what AID is. And for that, I want you to look at the mirror. Uh, in the uh, the mirror there. Now I think all of you, like most of you in the hall, when you look at your mirror, you see a reflection, right? Now imagine that the people in the reflection are not you, but they are people from villages in India, or they are people from India. Uh, you know, people who are in India. A lot of people in this room are also from India. But imagine that the people in the reflection are people from villages in India then what would you like to do? I think a lot of us would like to get up and shake hands with them. Right? We would like to go across and meet the village people. So, but then obviously the mirror is going to create a boundary. Aid is an organization essentially which has broken that boundary. And, 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 what, and what, we, uh, what aid enables you is to be here and to connect with people in India. And that's what Balaji and Kiran have done. And that's what many of our volunteers are doing. And that's what the support of many of our donors is also achieving. Now, if you look at the reflection and if you want to connect, I know there are both faculty here. I can see Professor Kim, for example, uh, who, who is in high energy physics. I know there are faculty from various departments here. And there are people here who have done a lot of things. Each of you would have different questions to ask the people you meet who are from villages in India, when you meet them here. Right? Some, uh, some of you in a, in a, who, are, who is in software may want to talk to them in one way. Some of you who may, who may be working here on human rights or on urban planning may want to talk to them in a different way, or uh, to a different set of people. So what I realized was that in the US there is enough talent that when we look across to figure out what we want to do in India, then once we create the channel, we should parallel process all the talents. So that's the reason why we have a Kiran who has gone back from University of Maryland and he is leading our effort in agriculture issues in India. He is working with farmers in India on a very important topic of farmer suicides and preventing agrarian crisis. Balaji is working on education. Similarly, we have people working on human rights, on environment, on, uh, on health. So, so the idea was, so the vision of aid when we started was that though we were students, we were starting aid in a university which is very well known and we were dealing, like you saw some of the biographies of students who came from, who come from India to this place. They are also coming from extremely accomplished uh, institutes in India. So we should not make the challenge of India any, any more dilute than what it really is. So we have to we have to present India as it is and create a channel to connect with it. Different people will connect through that channel in different ways because they are all the people in this room. What AID is aiming to do is to literally connect you all with the image of India and make that connection real. And each of you will interact in a different way. And AID is a channel through which different sets of you can interact in those different ways just as you will see how Kiran and Balaji have interacted. And, and then, what is our focus? Our focus is in that reflection, you will see several Indias. You will see an India that is shining. You will see the India that is, uh, you know, you will see an India that is carrying the India that is shining, on whose shoulders the rest of India is being built, but whose shoulders are crumbling because they are not getting their basic, uh, basic human rights are, are, are not, their, their basic rights are not being respected. So in that reflection, what aid sees and aims to reach is given by Gandhi's, uh, by, 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 by what we call Gandhi's talisman. Is in that reflection of India, you have to find the person who is the most disadvantaged and contemplate what step you take here so that that person's life improves. And that's basically what aid has been doing. We have been focusing our attention on the most underprivileged section of India and connecting them through various channels, right? whether it's education or whether it is health 
or whether it is uh, human rights, various channels, and we are trying to use their voice. In that reflection, we do not find weakness. In that reflection, we find people who are stronger than us. Because what we find in that re reflection are not victims of poverty. What we find in that reflection are survivors of, of, of historic injustice. So a reason why people are poor in that reflection is, for example, caste injustice. Right? They are people of lower caste. It is for it. Is, they are, uh, in that reflection. You have people who have been oppressed by the by the imperialism of the West. You are, in that reflection today. There are people who who are oppressed by the corruption of our current politicians, right? A, a, a political system that has gone uh, that that has gone corrupt. So, so so and we have we are finding people who are living and struggling against that system. So what we find there are not victims, but people who are surviving despite so much oppression. So when we are extending our hand to help with them, it's in a partnership where we understand their voice and we are not trying to impose a voice of the so-called NRIs. It's not that we are educated, therefore everything is good for us and therefore we should educate you. But it is more that you are surviving in a situation where you could not get the kind of education we have got. But you have different skill sets. You have a different awareness of your environment. And in that environment, you are struggling. What is it that we can help you so that you get your rights, so that you can make a difference in the world and your children can, have, uh, can live with the same dignity as we hope that all children in the world can live. So that's what it is and that's what our journey has been. I, I would like uh, Balaji and so literally it has different departments. It's like a university. It has different groups of people who are working in different issues. Our focus uh, is, like I said, the most underprivileged person in India. And, 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 and what essentially Balaji and Kiran are, are the team leaders of AID and, and their colleagues. Like we, have, we started AID together. And, and they, are, uh, they, are, they are working in different uh, fields like agriculture and education. So you can hear more about two of them from them. And then all three of us will be back for questions. Thank you.